Welcome back to Hand Lab Games. We are about to embark on the final adventure of this playthrough. And if you recall, we had just had a pretty interesting encounter with the spooky specters and barely got out of that. And we are now going to have to rest up and try to get some better gear because we have one more encounter to go uh, to see if we can win this game. So the first thing we're going to need to do is um, remove this setting card and draw a new one. And we pull a gnome caravan. So we can spend one time in any area to visit the gnome caravan and we treat it as an extra location. Uh, where we can camp for two hit points and minus two exposed. So this is a, this is a pretty decent one, but I uh, don't think we want to do that, we could probably camp at the Forgotten Temple. So, the first thing we're going to need to do is put seven time tokens on here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And I think the first thing I'm going to do though is spend one of them to rest or to camp here at the Forgotten Temple. And that's going to allow us to get three hit points each. And then I don't want to start adventuring until we've got something in the way of health because we don't want to get killed moving forward in the map. So remember we have to find uh, Doom Rock and it's at the bottom of the pile. We're through most of the pile so I think we're in a pretty good position just um, to just push forward and do some some venturing forth. So that's probably what we'll do. So I'm gonna move the haunted runes out, slide everything down. And remember, that's going to cost me a time. And we will draw the next location. And we get the Cursed Swamp with three secrets. Alright. Alright, so if you remember, the cost for venturing forth is one peril and one uh, event that has to be resolved. So <clears throat> we moved into the mountains. So we're going to have to resolve a peril. So we draw a mountain event card and we look at the peril. And the peril is HP minus one if exposed. So that can be ignored, uh, but we do now have to resolve a, a, a mountain event. So we flip that. We find a lookout point. When starting an encounter on this area or an adjacent area, you may choose one drafted terrain instead of drafting it. Keep this card above the area card. You may start. You may choose one drafted terrain instead of drafting it. Interesting. All right. Keep that in mind. All right. So the passive effect here is if this area is not explored, whether heroes gain an item, whenever heroes gain an item, they suffer expose plus one. <clears throat> so what I'm going to do is I'm going to do the secret, which is not going to cost me time. It'll just cost me. It'll I'll have to spend two of these uh, clue tokens, which is fine. But we each get shield plus one, so I'll give each of my heroes a shield. And the final uh, clue can be gotten, but it's going to cost me one time. And this final one, so now it's fully explored. Um, and I get a, a peril, so I'll have to resolve that. And this is a mountain, so I will draw a mountain event. The peril is hit points minus two, so it's a good thing I healed. But we get a loot plus two and one silver re reward for fully exploring this. So I will take off two hit points for the peril, but we get to roll a loot plus two. And we'll roll one die. We get a four plus two is six. Six is two silver. So we get two silver. Not bad. All right, well, I forgot to move my piece, so I'll make sure I put him here. And I'm going to keep this, I guess I can keep that above it somewhere for our lookout point. But we have four time left, and I think we want to venture forth again, so um, we're going to pay a time. We're going to remove the farthest left area, slide everything down one, and reveal the next area, and we find a hidden stash. But now we're going to have to... You know, remember, so we're traveling here. 
we're going to have to resolve another peril, but this time it'll be wilderness instead of mountains. And we get exposed plus two. So I will add two exposed tokens to each of my heroes. And I need to resolve a event. So we flip this and we find barrels. So barrel says you feel the urge to smash these barrels, so we get to roll loot die. So let's roll the loot die and see what we get here. I roll a four, and that's one silver, so we gain a silver. I'll take that. Um so that's it for the event. So let's see, safe tree. After spending time, if the remaining time on the setting card is even, place a sil one silver in this area, and then I can uh, spend a heroism to gain all the silver from this area. And it's got one, uh, one secret, so that's not too bad. But I think what we need to do is... We need to camp. So it's HP plus two and exposed minus one, and that costs a heroism, which is interesting. That it would cost a heroism, but I do need to camp. Something. Something uh, big. But let's see. I can spend. Yeah, I could probably do that. I'll, I'll spend one heroism each to camp here. And that's going to give us back, what is it, two hit points and minus one exposed. So that'll bring them up to four hit points again. Um, and I will remove one exposed token each. And that's that. So I could also spend a time and gain two more hit points each and minus two exposed. So that'll fill them up on health and remove their remaining exposed tokens. So I don't want to go into this final round, you know, uh, with that in mind. So I have six, seven, eight gold. I'm going to level up. I'm going to level up the bard. So she's her her level up is going to cost me five. So here's five gold. Let's go ahead and draw three skills and pick one. Okay, we are going to choose three cards. One, two, three. And let us see what we get. So we've got Into the Fray, Barrage, and Aura of Doom. So what do we think? All right, so I think for our bard, it only makes sense to go with Barrage, another ranged attack. Um, Into the Fray is really good. That would have been good for the commander, but um, I only get to choose one, so we're going to take Barrage, and with that, we also get an extra action die. So very nice. Alright, with only two time remaining, I think it's prudent we spend one of them and venture forth. So we will remove the far left location and slide everybody down one. And we found Doom Rock. So Doom Rock has three secrets, um, but we're going to have to face a peril and a an encounter. So Doom Rock is obviously mountain, so we will draw mountains. We get exposed plus one as our peril. So I will give our heroes exposed plus one. And our encounter is the closet. What a mess. We get three loot minus one rolls. Well, that's actually pretty cool. So we get a six minus one is a five, so we get a common item. And it is a Leather Armor of Doom, which we have in abundance. Uh, okay. We roll again. Loot minus one. It's a zero. We get nothing. And a five minus one is four. We get another common item. And it is a Lucky Charm. Use it to re-roll up to two dice during the roll phase. That's actually quite good. So I'm going to keep that. Um, and that's it. So we resolve the encounter. We move into Doom Rock. And we have a couple of options. We don't have a camp here, though, so that's 
That's unfortunate, but a couple things we could do. Alright, well we only have one time token left, so I'm guessing I don't really want to travel anywhere. I'm full health, so I think we're pretty much ready for the final encounter. So we might as well just, I guess we could just explore and spend the last one. And that's going to get rid of one of these, but there's three of them here, so it's not going to help us. Um, you know, I could gain one silver and a hit point, but what, what good is that going to do me, you know? I don't have heroism to gain a loot card. And I can travel somewhere else, you know, for apparel, but I, there's no other place I can camp here either. I could go to the, the gnome caravan, but that's uh, that's really not going to do anything for me either. So, uh, like I said, I'm just going to explore. Uh, we are in the mountains, so we'll draw a mountain card. And we get uh, Adventuring Expo. So this is... Oh, it's a shop. Alright, cool. When is Venice drawn? Gain one common item. And then I get to seed it with four common and two epic. Wow. So we will take a common. And we get, what is this? A distracting Cloak. Before an AI card is drawn, you may lose one expose to become the active hero for that activation and gain one heroism. And that's actually not bad. I might, I might keep that. Um, let's see, I get four common. One, two, three... Four. I get a shield of doom, a stink bomb, a pole axe of doom, and a rogue's armor of doom. And I get two epic. That's a lot of gear here. So we get a Gatling gun and the root vine armor. So, well, I'm at a shop. So let's let me think about what I want to do here. All right. After looking through the items, there's really nothing I want here. So I'm just going to sell the four these four items that I had extra in my inventory that I wasn't planning on using. Uh, so I, there are four commons, so I'm going to get two silver just to get rid of the cards, to be honest. Um, I don't want any of these. They're not as good as what I have. So that's my last time token. There's nothing more I can do here. I mean, I could suffer some peril to travel around, but there's nowhere else I could go. I have five silver right now, um, which is almost enough to level, but it's not but I also don't have enough time to camp again so that pretty much ends everything I can do so let's take a look at what our encounter is going to be at Doom Rock. so our final encounter for the game is going to be against a tentacle monster well, that doesn't look that doesn't look easy at all so all right let's uh let's get that set up I think and then we'll we'll wrap this video up all right <clears throat> Quick down of the, of the bat, quick rundown of the battlefield it looks uh, similar to you know the setup that we've had uh, previously, uh, with a few exceptions. So now we have a boss character, uh, which is the monster. This is the tentacle monster. Each of these represent his tentacles. Each tentacle has six hit points, two armor, and one shield. The boss has five hit points and sixteen armor. Um, so he is going to be ridiculously strong. We're going to have two terrain, so we can randomly draw our terrain. So we'll draw two from the draft. Uh, one and two. So we've got a the table and a pile of shields, and they're negative. So we're going to have to draw from the negatives. And you know we've seen a few of the negatives. And we'll draw one, and we get the trap. So Those are our three terrains. I will add them to the board. All right, so terrain A was the pile of shields. Terrain B is our table. Uh, and we've got two traps down here. And that's it. So we are set up. I'll go through all of the terrain abilities as we play through this combat round, but we'll save that for the next video, which will be the final chapter of this Doompocalypse playthrough, and just reading through this, this doesn't look good for our heroes. This is not easy by any stretch, so we'll see how that goes, but um, uh, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video, and hopefully, uh, you know, one way or another, we're going we're gonna to find out how this ends, so... 
see you then.